There's a common saying that a man's best friend is a dog. But I've come to realize that a man's best friend is his mental fortitude. Because let's face it, life is hard as a man. Life will throw bricks at you. You know, sometimes it won't even be a brick. Life will throw a whole mountain at you. Throw a Mount Kilimanjaro at you and be like, catch it. <laughs> you see, when life throws a brick at you, you can dodge that brick. Sometimes a brick will just brush the side of your head and you're left with a scar. But when life throws a mountain at you, it's like, you're not going to avoid this. You're going to be crushed. And the best thing you can do is simply dust yourself off after being crushed by that mountain and carry on walking, carry on rebuilding your life. And the only way you can go through these periods is if you have mental fortitude because there are going to be times where you fail where you thought success was inevitable and you failed like the only thing that could have caused you to fail was the exact thing that caused you to fail in life people are going to leave you people who you thought were going to be there forever you're going to walk out of your life you're going to have no closure you're going to be left wondering why what didn't i do you will be left wondering, do I deserve this? And more often than not, you don't. But whether you deserve it or you don't deserve it, it's not going to change the fact that you're in that situation and you need to recover. And I've realized that especially on this journey of becoming my best version of chasing things that are unseen where I'm from, that my best friend is mental fortitude. If I didn't have mental fortitude, I actually don't know if I'd be standing here today. The amount of comments that I've had to receive from like literally every single adult that knows what i'm trying to do or has an idea of what i'm trying to do every single time it ends up in a lecture if i didn't have mental fortitude i would have given up after like the second lecture the third lecture see everyone who i live with my mom my dad my sisters they have different views to me so imagine living in a household where i can't even say in good conscience that they believe in me but I can say with absolute certainty that they're giving me the space to become the man that I need to become. So I'm grateful for that. I would never ask for someone to believe in me, but I'll always ask for someone to just give me the space to become who I am. And up until recently, I never gave myself credit for having any ounce of mental fortitude. But I realized, well, it wasn't just my realization. A lot of friends brought this up is that I've been through some troubling situations. Where people will be like, mm, if I was in your situation, I don't know what I would have done. And I came through them. I handled them like a king. And it's like, it sounds like I'm bigging myself up. In fact, I am. Like, I've been through some tough things and I've come through on top. And you know, I'm not going to take all this credit because the truth is, without God, <laughs> I don't know if I would have gone through half of those things. If I didn't have the solace that I can find in God... I actually don't know if I'll be standing here with you. And if you're watching up until this point, you may be thinking like, you know, this is a lot of fluff. Like, how is this video going to help me? Realize that mental fortitude is your best friend. And this best friend is only created through the circumstances that you go through in your life or the things that you voluntarily put yourself through. So if you're going through tough times now or when you inevitably go through tough times in the future where you don't think you can make it through, where you are questioning whether you're strong enough to make it through those moments those moments they aren't a curse they aren't a negative in fact those moments they're building your best friend they're building the mental fortitude that should take you to great heights that will allow you to climb through that valley of despair on top of the mountain where you've achieved everything that you want to achieve i used to think that tough times were like god for lack of a better term spitting on me like saying ah, you deserve this but I've realized that tough times are truly a gift from God because they allow you to find yourself. They allow you to develop qualities that you never would have developed if everything was plain sailing, if everything was smooth, you're always improving and whatnot. So right now, as you're going through your tough times, recognize that God is giving you the greatest gift, the gift of growth. And I know for a fact, it doesn't feel like that right now. It doesn't have to feel like that right now. But just gaslight yourself into thinking that God is giving me a gift right Yeah, I thought there was a snake on my foot. But anyway, just gaslight yourself into thinking that this tough time is a gift from God. Because I look back on every single tough period I've been through. And right now, I'm grateful for all of them. There is not one bad thing that has happened to date that I'm not grateful of in some way, shape, or form. But right now, as you're struggling, realize that you're creating your best friend, a friend that will never leave you. Because my mental fortitude, it keeps on growing and growing and growing. And unlike other friends, it's not gonna go. Cheers, gents. I'll see you tomorrow with a more uplifting video. Tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. <laughs>